One of the most common questions that I have when men are starting chemotherapy is how am I going to feel and is this really going to make me feel absolutely atrocious or just terrible. Um, and I have to say that for most men, it actually doesn't make them feel so bad. Some men are very sensitive to chemotherapy and may have nausea and require multiple medications to keep that under control. But that is really a minimum of men or a minimum number of men. The majority of men get by with minimal nausea, um, with some fatigue, but many are able to continue working or participating in events with their family. Um, many men do have some thinning of the hair, but most do not go completely bald. Men are able to continue to be involved with their community, continue to go to church if they do that normally, continue to shop in the grocery store or uh, at other places, go to uh, community events and meetings and participate in their lives normally. They do not have to shut themselves into their house when they're on chemotherapy for prostate cancer. They do not have to wear a mask when they're on chemotherapy for prostate cancer. They can still interact with their friends and family and try to be as normal as possible. Um, they do have to be sensitive to the fact that people in their community may have illness and so if they see someone sneezing, coughing, or, or looking sick, they may want to keep their distance a little bit or perhaps wash their hands a little bit more often with waterless uh, hand wash or, or you know, regular washing of the hands. Um, but they, they don't have to stay shut into their homes and they definitely do not have to wear masks when they go out in public. And I think that's really important to think about when your life is changing in a way and you're thinking about starting treatment with chemotherapy.